Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Jane and welcome to my channel. There's only seven of you who follow me right now, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief, a brief update uh, really quick, if I can make it quick. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you follow me, you might have noticed that I haven't uploaded anything in over a month. Um, and that's because I had to deal with a whole shitstorm of bullshit um, that just came one after the other and I'm, I'm exhausted. I, I don't even have the energy to be making this video right now but I wanted to get it out there anyway <sighs> because I, I'm frustrated, you know, um, one of the the hardest parts of when, you know, I have to deal with just life things is having it take away from things that I could put my energy into that are much more fulfilling, much more beneficial, not just to myself, but to anyone who may or may not come across my content and think it's cool or interesting or helpful. And so, on top of everything, I've been really pissed off because, like I said, um, you know, I, I I feel like there's a much better use of my time and energy than dealing what I, with what I just had to deal with. Um, and half of it is just circumstantial, not really anyone's fault, it's just life stuff, but the other half, I have a really good feeling, is just because people are money whores and don't care about anything or anyone other than themselves and really think they're good people and they're not and I don't want to make a video about that because that doesn't help anyone <laughs> and that's just me complaining um, but yeah, needless to say it's been really stressful um, and I want to uh, just make this and let you know that I am going to get back on the wagon eventually and start actually doing the things that I said I was going to do um, and make what I'm going to make and maybe, who knows, I can even um, get into another topic other than me complaining about my life <laughs> let's see but yeah, um, the first thing that happened was I lost one of my jobs I was working two part-time jobs and I lost one of them thankfully though, the other job that I had gave me more hours and a raise. So that fire was actually put out really quickly and I was very happy about that. But then literally like just days after that, I was told by my roommate that I had 40 days to find a new place and move out. This is six months of me living there. And originally when I first moved in there, I asked her, so, you know, like when six months go by, you're gonna ask me to move out? She said no. So that was pretty infuriating. And I have no car. So moving out it is very stressful because I have to have so many people help me and I'm new here so I don't really have a strong social circle yet. My social circle is the people that I work with and the people that I live with. It starts and ends there right now. So yeah, that happened. And as you can see, that explains the different background. Like I said, if you've been following me, this is my new place. Um, I'm kind of whitewashed out with this window, but at least I have lighting. <sighs> and that's about as much as I want to talk about. There's more, but I'm, I'm, I'm done. So <laughs> let's move on and see what else we can uh, delve into here. So there's many obvious reasons why, you know, what I just went through is stressful. But one of the major ones that have really been on my mind uh, is just simply uh, not having any time, like I said earlier, to make things and not having any time to go outside and connect to anything, <laughs> whether it be, you know, like a person or the earth, especially just, you know, going for a walk. Um, and I you know, I'm in this space of reflection uh, where I see how it's 
so important to be, you know, grounded, as they say, which is what I want to talk about for this video. Um, I, I want to know what it, what it means to be grounded, what people are referring to when they say be grounded. Because, you know, I've been sitting, I've been sitting with it and it, it confuses me because I think it means something different to me or the experience itself is just different to me. Um, and so I've had to sit with it. I've had to really sit with it and ask this question and, and investigate um, what, um, you know, how to get grounded, what people mean by it. Is being grounded for me the same as being grounded to someone else, etc. And I'm gonna go off on my tangent, but I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this and what your opinion is of this and how you see it and how you relate to it because uh, it'll add you know to this question uh, not just for myself but anyone watching when I hear about being grounded the people talking about it makes it sound like you need to be deeply anchored in a space to the point where you're almost immobile, like a tree. You know, you set down roots so you're not flying off into space like a rocket ship. <laughs> um, which I find uh, interesting. And I, you know, I hear what they, they're saying and I get what they're saying. It makes a lot of sense to me when they're saying it. But then, when I try to use that uh, definition of being grounded, it feels yucky. It doesn't feel right to me. It feels... It feels off-center. Which is why I like to use the word getting centered. Which a lot of people use as a synonym for being grounded. But I like using the word centered better. Because the way that sounds is a lot more like how it feels to me when I go outside and when I, you know, connect with, uh, you know, the physical world or when I connect with things that are not, you know, associated with crown chakra, everything. I realized or was able to figure out how how exactly that is for me and give details, further details on that because after this stressful period of my life and finally being able to get outside yesterday and go to the beach, um, the reason why it doesn't feel like uh, accurate to me because um, when I get out there, it, it feels like uh, a sudden um, lightening. Like, I, I don't feel this rooted sensation that they talk about. I don't feel like I'm brought down to earth. It feels the exact opposite. I feel like I'm in ecstatic motion. And I've been hearing that word over and over and over and over again throughout the past month, actually, is ecstatic motion. Um, you know, as if, you know, you're, you're a Merkaba and you're spinning around everywhere. <laughs> you know, I, once I finally get outside and, you know, put away everything and get centered, um, it is not this sensation of being rooted in the ground at all. Um, and so, you know, I reflected on that and why is that or how is that? And, you know, I, I came up with a theory. I think that when you connect with Earth energy, you may be inadvertently also, um, if you think about it, be connecting with the rest of the universe. Because what made the Earth? Our sun. Everything is star stuff. 
What made the sun? Other star stuff. Just star stuff. It's all star stuff. So if you connect to anything that isn't uh, illusory, you know, something that the ego made, something that humans made, like money, <laughs> you know, any of these things that we have to contend with in our daily lives, when you connect with the star stuff, which is Earth, you're inadvertently connecting with the cosmos, which is very different than the rudimentary soil root imagery that uh, many tell us to think about in order to help us get grounded. It's more airy than anything, at least that's how it feels to me and has confused me greatly with the contradiction of that. I mean, think about it. Earth is moving through space, which is gravitationally affected by the sun, which is gravitationally affected by all the stars in our galaxy and the galaxy to other galaxies. They're all connected and affected by one another. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> this is my question. Is this something else that I'm doing? Am I not capable of being grounded or is this an act, just a different way of getting grounded? When people are getting grounded by using this imagery, you know, of soil and setting down roots like you would a tree, um, are they inadvertently connecting with the cosmos and that's the energy that they're feeling and they just don't know it or they don't associate it with that? That's another question. Is it something else entirely? All I know is that when I finally got to the water and looked out at the waves and felt a rush of energy, like a sigh, and also a greeting, like, hello, welcome back. I felt like I was connecting with something much more lighter, high vibration as they say. And on a side note, since I've moved to California, I've felt a lot more connected to the earth. I've felt it and I've seen it. I've even I'm like, I've experienced bodily changes. My period now follows the full moon cycles. That's been interesting. It's, it's so, you know, you can feel now the earth almost feeling how it feels as it's feeling it. It's very hard to explain. Uh, it's, it's like with, I guess, any empath and you're like, why do I feel this way? And you see things and you, you're, you're feeling things that are not really explainable and not really what you should be thinking or feeling based on what's going on in your life and then you reflect and it's like, oh, because the earth also feels this way. The earth, yes. She, I feel, knows that we have commodified her and is very patient with us. Very, very patient. If earth thought that we were a lost cause and we were going to destroy her, she would have killed us by now. So there's some hope for something. I can't say there's hope for everything as an environmental studies major, but there is hope for something. And <clears throat> whether or not you agree with me or whether or not you feel the same way about what it means to be centered and what it means to be grounded, maybe try in your meditations and in your visualizations when you're outside and trying to get grounded, reminding yourself that the stuff that you're connecting to is star stuff. Maybe it will be a whole new level of being grounded. Maybe it will not be you know, what they say is bad, which is to be in the clouds the whole time. <laughs> um, you know, I fully believe that it's- ugh, this fucking seagull. I fully believe that 
um, it's not that we're meant to be so deeply rooted that we can't, you know, fly off into space. Like I said, I do believe we're meant to be in ecstatic motion. It's just that if you, um, if you keep spinning uncontrollably with your head in the clouds, you may not end up where you want to end up. I think the function and the mechanism and the reason to get centered is so that you can control where this goes, so that you can have a little bit more say in the chaos. You can control where your spinning vehicle is headed towards, <laughs> which could be a very, you know, beneficial place or a not very beneficial place. And I purposely chose the word beneficial versus good and bad, versus a good place and a bad place. I'm exhausted and if I was able to have time to really make these videos into what they could be, I think they could be great. Um, but something is better than nothing right now. I'm very determined. I'm in this time in my life where I just want to accomplish something because I felt like I've been held back. So. This video isn't perfect, my channel isn't perfect, but it's going somewhere and it's an ecstatic motion. <laughs> and um, like I said before, please comment your thoughts and share your experiences. Please like this video, please subscribe to this channel so that um, you know, people can find my videos, so that they become visible. And especially when Eventually, one of these days, they're going to uh, be a little bit more coherent and a little bit more organized and a little more in-depth because I'll have the time and the resources to do so. So stay tuned. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. I love all of you, all seven of you. I love you. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited to see where this goes. So take care, guys, and have a lovely rest of your week. Bye. All my tortilla chips are broken. So I just said, fuck it. I'll put it all in a bowl and then put salsa on it and eat it with a spoon because I'm on a budget, okay? And I cannot afford whole tortilla chips.